Hi, it's Karina. Today my video is going to be very short, I think, because I'm showing you a very simple recipe. It's a very simple uh, chicken soup, uh, which uh, we were cooking in our family. I can trace it as far back as my great-grandmother, I think. Uh, so it's a Georgian chicken soup, Chihartma. We love this soup and it's very delicious and very simple to make. As long as you have a good chicken stock. Uh, you can see by color that it's a very good stock. Uh, it was cooked with chicken breasts, so it's practically fatless, but even that fat we can remove. Uh, and a good trick here is to uh, put it in a jar, preferably, and leave it in the fridge. It cools down and stays maybe for one day in the fridge. The fat goes up and it's very easy to skim it off. And at the end, you, you will have totally fatless, but excellent stock. Uh, we would need a couple of onions, one egg, one tablespoon of flour, and also... I would need a fresh coriander, which would really make this soup sink. But uh, I do not have it. Not I have, however, dry coriander leaves in my freezer. So I'll take out a little bit and put the rest back. I mean, my mother would uh, cook on a very strong um, chicken stock. Um, and I doubt she, I don't think. In fact, I can quite confidently tell you. And honestly, she w won't skim that fat off either. So I think I use more onions than my mother does. So for this probably small saucepan, I'll show you. I'll use those two largest onions, which I cut into half moon uh, shapes. Uh, my preferred way of cutting onions. And I fry everything in the same pan. Uh, I don't fry them separately. When I make soups, I always fry my onions, carrots and everything, whatever, right in the same pan, a saucepan, in which soup is going to be. So the onions go in. Uh, once onions are done, uh, well reduced, uh, but not brown, of course, um, we don't like that. Uh, we're adding one large heaped tablespoon of plain flour. Our flour, uh, we, we did fry it, say, for a minute uh, and mix it well with the onions. We're simply adding our stock. Uh, the stock should be made just out of chicken, no carrots or anything to flavor it. So we're done stock and now we're just adding water. Um, you know, up to you how, uh, you know, you don't want to have very strong stock. It's not actually good for us. It still will taste chickeny. Uh, if you sort of dilute it with um, boiling water, which I do to speed things up, just just judge by the color. It still should be yellow, some, somewhat yellow. Uh, actually, maybe the stock was already salted. Let me try. I can't remember if I salted it when I cooked those chicken breasts. Yeah, well, it was, but of course we diluted it with water. So we add slightly less salt than I would have normally added. Let it simmer maybe for 10 minutes to make sure onions are well softened. Looks nice. Well, obviously, flour uh, slightly thickens it and uh, lots of onions. So, soup was bubbling away for 10 minutes or so. Uh, time to add our uh, uh, dry coriander, dry coriander leaves. Quite generous amount. It will look prettier. Uh, I don't think dry coriander um, leaves have any taste actually. Uh, we always used to have this soup with red wine vinegar uh, added directly to your cup or a plate. Because uh, my mother used to make very strong chicken stocks, quite fatty too, so the vinegar Probably one of the purposes was to cut through the fat. Um, anyway, but it's, uh, it, it goes. It goes. 
Uh, and that's it, your soup is done, except for one little very important step at the very end. Right, I think at this point I'm going to switch it off. Uh, mix egg well. Uh, you can use just yolks, uh, one or two, um, but we use entire egg. So the soup cooled down ever so slightly. Uh, now I'm going to add the egg in. So what you do, you let soup cool, first of all, for a couple of minutes, and then you simply um, add spoon by spoon, probably up to halfway up to that little bowl. And every time mix it well. Right? This way you kind of you create a, a mixture, egg, a soup and egg mixture first, and then you would add it to the soup. So if we add egg to the soup without um, mixing it like that first, it will go all stringy. So we want to avoid that. As you go, uh, you can add two or three spoons at the time. So once you are done, you simply uh, slowly pour it into the soup, stirring all the time, just like that. I think uh, this simple soup is very elegant, actually. Um, it's light, yet very warming, um, and makes such an excellent starter. Uh, here I have a nice red wine vinegar. It's slightly thick because of the flour. Um, lots of onions, uh, pieces of onions, which I like. Um, egg makes it kind of um, ever so slightly richer, I suppose. Um, and it would be fresh coriander would be much nicer actually. But so nice, so nice, really warms you to the cockles. With good bread, cheese, what else do you need for lunch? Mm-hmm. <laughs>